Hey everyone, what I'm going to show you today is how to just get a quick, simple sprinting mechanic. So this should work with most of the templates in Unreal. So at the moment we just have this run, and our character just moves like that. Now when we want to alter our character, we can go to third person BP, and open up this blueprint. Now I'll just move that over there. Now a lot of our movement in our character comes from character movement here. You can see here we've got lots of different settings and one of these we will get to change. Now if we have a look here for jump we see that there is something inputted to jump. So before we get too far let's go to our settings, project settings and then from there we're going to go click on input. This is a way that we can set up our ma uh, mappings to make sure that when we're doing something that we're going to reuse, it's easy to find and the computer knows what we're doing. So I'm going to add an action mapping and we're going to call this one Sprint and put it to whatever you want it to be. You can see here we can set up lots of different control inputs. I'm just going to do left shift and I'll leave it like that. Okay, so now when I go into my third person BP, I'm going to just go down here and I can right click and click sprint and there it is right there. I'm then going to, when I press sprint, I want something to happen. The first thing I want to happen, which is quite common, is just for a string to be printed so that I know that my buttons are working. So I'll just say sprinting and when it's released, I can just copy and paste this, but so when I let go of it, I'm going to go, not sprinting, complicated stuff. Okay, so when I go to sprint, I want to change one of my values under character movement. So what I can do is I can actually drag out character movement. And as we know in Unreal, a lot of stuff is context sensitive. So for example, if I've clicked on here, that's going to alter my options based on what's here. So character movement's out here, and as character movement, I want to adjust a value. Now let's find out what it's called, walking, max walk speed. Yeah, let's change that. So I'll type in max uh, walk speed, and I want to set my max walk speed. So at the moment, the default value is 600. So I'm going to set the max walk speed from 600 to, well, let's just make sure it works. Let's double it. And then when it's released, it's going to go back to 600. Okay, I can use that more than once. All right, compile that. So let's see if it works. It says sprinting, not sprinting, sprinting, not sprinting. So I'm walking. There we go. So you can see I'm walking faster. If we wanted to make sure it was working, we could go 2000. Go back here. There we go. So what we can do later on in an animation blueprint is we can actually also adjust it so it will play our sprinting animation when we get to that. But for now, that's enough. How to do a sprint. 